they're like, we would love to have a name and try to find the family of the guy at the end that sort of helped them in that last jaunt, you know, from the cave to like across the front lines to get them to safety. Um, so that's a piece of the story that we haven't been able to really like work out a definitive, but it seems like there's a couple of versions, but they did work with a man that helped them get across the front lines and they had to just trust him and it worked out thankfully. Um, was he a religious man, Elwin? I'm curious about his faith because uh, Susie and Fred have talked about their dad being, have a lot of faith and that's kind of what well, got him through and I was just curious. I, I think that, I think you had to have, you had to have faith or you would have never survived it. But you know, again, they, they, they went to church on Sundays, but you know, other than that, you were in the field or you were working and you know, so as an older adult, would I say he was super religious? No. Okay. I was just curious because that was something that they had brought up that their dad was a very sort of faithful person and they think that that's really what helped him, I guess, survive all of this. I mean, it's so traumatic yeah. when you think about yeah. what it is well, that I, they had to... Or I know he said, I know he said that he was in three different camps and, you know, that they hit out the caves and sometimes you had to stay a while so that... If they, if they were looking for you, that they would tire and then you'd move on, you know, a little bit. And, you know, talked about, literally, he said, I swear to God that I walked all the way across Italy. Because it said over 700 miles. You know, if you look at that map and you read that repatriation report, uh, he walked a lot. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds about right. I mean, I don't know the mile. I'm like, that sounds about right. I mean, they walked a tremendous amount. I mean, just amazing. Mm -hmm.